Black Friday 2017. We are headed out of Northport, getting on to I-75 northbound. We are going up to Central Florida to Railfan CSX's S and A lines between Tampa, Plant City, Lakeland. After a quick pit stop at a friend's house, we get to Plant City around 8 o'clock a.m. Immediately, I hear talk on the radio of Q442, the daily northbound freight out of Tampa to Waycross, Georgia. He is already at Turkey Creek, so we decide to pull into the cemetery just north of Plant City and catch him there. Spooky, some may say on a morning like this at a cemetery. However, this is the way it's been since the Seaboard Coastline days in the late 1900s. Although, I cannot lie, it is very eerie in this kind of setting this early in the morning, but it's where we must go to catch trains. Looking to our north on the S line, signal on the left is a high green. Proceed at maximum authorized speed for your train. That's for our man. The quiet of the night before is first broken by an old Dash A rounding the corner toward the cemetery. Surviving from the old coastline days, these guys have still earned their keep for CSX. Q442. That was a very long train. We're gonna have to listen to the Knight's defect detector to see how long he was. Sizable train. Well, Q442 is a sizable train today, but no time to wait because up at Lakeland Junction, southbound off the Vitus Sub, comes Q453, southbound mixed manifest freight to Miami. Q453 always has a scheduled crew change right here, and he did. However, he was too long to fit in between the amount of clear track they had here, so he had to wave the person who was to pick up the old crew to drive down to Lakeland Connection. Instead of them stopping there, they had to pull about a half mile down the track to stop at Lakeland Connection. unbelievable seven more hours before the new crew arrived to take the train on to Miami. This was a crazy blockage. However, there is a double track here, so no traffic was held up. But this was a very weird occurrence. About half an hour later, the action moves to Mulberry, where two engines of light came out of Mulberry Yard and were supposedly heading to a facility to pick up some sort of train.
about two miles to the east on this main line. This is near the diamond at Mulberry. However, one thing surprised me. The usual dark signal that guards this diamond was lit. And not only that, it was showing a signal aspect that I have never seen before. I'm going to have to do more research on this guy. However, no time to wait, as the two locomotives we saw before are headed up this line and toward the diamond. Crossing signals flash as they break the silence of this usually quiet suburban area. The next catch for us came at Webster, Florida, just south of Bushnell. What's crazy about this was that this was a K701 ethanol train out of Tampa. However, we heard him passing Plant City when we were in Mulberry. K70124. So we weren't able to get ahead of him by chasing him until this point north. Although we did get to get him, so that was all that mattered to me. because he got stuck behind a coal train somewhere out east. Next catch came around 5 p.m. It was finally that Q453. The new crew had finally arrived and they were finally on their way out toward Miami. PO91 going north out of Tampa toward Miami. For those of you that are interested, that big black thing in the background was a movie player. It was a public movie going on that night. Not even five minutes after 91 passed, the signals lit up green again. They were for Q046. The daily intermodal out of Tampa to Jacksonville ramp. Usually, Q046 will carry Tropicana juice cars as well. However, not today. It's Friday.
Black Friday's very last light. It was PO92 coming out of Tampa, right behind PO91 and 046. Next catch came just after dark. It was Q44124, the southbound run of Manifest Freight from Waycross, Georgia to Tampa. to spin the turnout and head toward Park Road just east of Plant City to switch industries there. I do apologize for some of the blurry scenes that happened in these night shots. Some of my settings of my camera were jacked up from the night before and it caused my camera to go blurry at some points. I do apologize. the expedition. At the twilight's last gleaming, one last green signal lit up the night. It was 082524, a daily local from Tampa to CF Industries just north of Plant City. However, this would be the last 0825 for quite a while. CF Industries, which is the plant that they switched just up north, was closing the next day, so this local would be discontinued until CF Industries opened again, which according to Florida Rail fans would be about a year, at least. Leaving this last local was CSX 2800. Black Friday rail fanning. I hope you enjoyed this video of us rail fanning the Plant City area on 11-24-17, also known as Black Friday. So, on the S line at milepost S823.1, this is Coder Banner, out.